Welcome back, my dear students, in grade 10 biology lessons with you, teacher Yusra Al-Qadi. Today we are talking still about nutrient cycles. Now, we want to know some main concepts to support our knowledge in of the nutrient cycles. Nitrogen, as I told you before, is very, very, very important part of our bodies. You know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <coughs> made us all of protein. Protein. This protein, the main content of it is nitrogen. So now we know the importance of, or can we understand the importance of nitrogen? So our main part of our cells is nitrogen. You got me? Number two, when we die and when even any living organism will die, all of these bodies will be converted to ammonia, ammonia ions by the composition process that bacteria will make it the type of bacteria will perform this process as it will convert our bodies again to nitrogen that the soil will accept it again and again to give us by plants as we referred before so what about the feeding and digestion of protein inside our bodies as we had learned before about the importance of protein in our bodies, we know that the protein is our cells. Almost of our cells is protein, is nitrogen. And this type, some types of this protein will form our hormones, our enzymes that will control all, all our body. And we all know the role of enzymes the role of hormones also in our bodies grade 9 we studied the roles of enzymes and grade 10 semester 1 we talked or learned about the hormones roles <coughs> so the protein will be digested in our body then it will go to our cells to be in it then it will form hormones, can form also enzymes, and as I told you before, we know the roles of them. So, how we get the nitrogen? You know, we have two types of microorganisms, our bacteria, that will enable us to get this nitrogen. We talked about two types, it's decomposers, decomposers, and also that bacteria we mentioned in the roots of the plant that will convert the nitrogen to a form we can accept or we can treat with. So now we want to know some, uh, some definitions about the nitrogen because as I told you, it's an, a big issue. It's a big issue in our life. So number one, the microorganisms in the nitrogen cycle will have role in the decomposition. Also another role in nitrification, another role in nitrogen fixation. Fourth role will be in something called denitrification. Denitrification. So let us explain these meanings all and know what I want to tell you about them. Number one, decompositions that the decomposers bacteria will know. It's a process by which the organic substances are broken down into simple organic matter. You know, after death, all of us, all of us will be converted to a very simple organic matters <coughs> by bacteria. All of us, except the prophets, will have same situation. But all of the bodies will be like this. All, not just the human, even all the living organisms' bodies. Taib. Let us look now at this photo. Sh see, it will show us how a rabbit here, how it will be, as I told you before, a very simple organic matter 
in five steps as shown so go to the next concept about entrification entrification is a biological oxidation of ammonia to nitrate then what will happen then another oxidation will occur or happen of the nitrate nitrate to be converted to nitrate so put line here from nitrate to nitrate nitrate to nitrate where it will happen in the soil why we should uh, convert or or should this happen converting from nitrate to nitrate in chemic in chemistry you know the difference between nitrate with i and nitrate with a there is difference we need this because i as i told you not all the nitrogen compound we can treat it we can accept it in our body and treat it so now go to another biological concept about nitrogen also nitrogen fixation i think we mentioned this if you will see this uh, drawing down you can see the roots you can see the nodules and these nodes we cannot these nodes clearly and we know that bacteria is collecting here bacteria are bacteria are collecting here collected together to convert the nitrogen to a form we accept so now it's a process by which molecu mo molecular nitrogen in the air is converted into ammonia so from nitrogen to ammonia it's nitrogen fixation where it happened as i told you before on the roots of the ligaments plants like beans now got another concept diminution Diminution is the removal of an ammonia group from a molecule to give energy. As I told you before, many, 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 many processes will happen to the nitrogen for us to get it, to treat it. So now another thing will happen in our bodies, human bodies, in our kidneys, in our uh, livers even. What happened? Something called diminution. What is this diminution? Removing of the ammonia group. For what? Because once this ammonia group will be removed, energy will start to be released. You got me? Another concept about denitrification. Denitrification is a microbiological facilitated process where nitrate in O3 is reduced you know the meaning of reduce it's the opposite of oxidation reduction is opposite of oxidation from chemistry we know so when we are talking when we are talking about <coughs> reduction we are talking about removing removing oxygen but once we are talking about oxidation we are talking it means we are talking about adding oxygen so now what happened as you can see and this is rectangle down from no3 by using a type of bacteria heterotrophic bacteria what happened we will get nitrogen so now we removed oxygen it's the process that i'm explaining for you and as it's showing uh, by this arrow it will happen by using the heterotrophic type of bacteria and we know there is two types of feeding heterotrophic and autotrophic you know that autotrophic means depend on itself to make its food but in case of heterotrophic it will not depend on itself depend of others so now <coughs> this bacteria will help us to give this nitrogen as seeing here you can see what about in O3 on your left then check it on your right what happened you will find there is no NO3 the two places I refer to now you can notice there is no NO3 now 
it converted to nitrogen. Notice, this process is very useful to treat many things. We can take many benefits about this process even in our life. Number one, the sea wig. You know, sea wig will be from human and sometimes even animals. Wastes. This waste is full of nitrogen. Once we remove this nitrogen, once we will convert it, we will make a very great thing for ourselves. Because the sea wig, again and again, we will use in many things. In many things, we'll use again <coughs> the sea wig. And also, it will go during our uh, uh, during our days many days and many days after uh, forming the sea wig some of them some of them will go to to our ears F but in case of treating nitrogen in it it will be much safety more safety for us so number one the sea wig and the point two, the animal was that, that contain high nitrogen amount, high nitrogen amount. We can treat it also by this way. Why? Because if it will have high nitrogen amount, and you know animals was this will be on the ground, no control. So it will reach our w underground water, underground water, to make it full of nitrogen. Once it will be full of nitrogen, we are using it for many things. And number one, it will give us more nitrogen in our soil. Number two, more nitrogen even in our water. Alas, giving more nitrogen, it will cause more, more nitrate. More nitrate in our food, it's poisons. More will be poisons. And nowadays we have even some tools we can buy when I'll meet you, inshallah, I can refer for, for you and tell you from where you can get this or how you can get these tools. You can even measure the amount of nitrogen, not just nitrogen, even any poisons in your uh, fresh vegetables, fresh fruits. You can use this tool to know if it is safety or not. You can imagine that nowadays you have a tool to measure everything you will buy from the supermarket if it is suitable for you or not if it is poisons or not that will tell you how it is dangerous very very dangerous to save in our bodies more and more amount of nitrogen and when I also uh, when also i'll explain for you about pollution i'll tell you about more and more minerals and metals we are putting in our bodies all the time we are saving in our buys it will not affect as i told you when i explained for you mr one face to face in our classes about the hormones and the, its effect it will not affect in once any yani. not once you will eat this once you will save in your body this poison amounts uh, you will feel the harmful no after time you will feel so much better from the beginning if you cut this way if you protect yourself and uh, i tell you if you want more information about this inshallah inshallah when we'll meet each other again i can tell you about this topic and also you can search in internet all the time you are free now have free time you can search you can search and know and know more and more to save yourselves in the end i hope you enjoyed this lesson and <coughs> I want to say thank you for ICT teachers and Mr. Yunus Rahbi. Best wishes for all.